So normally, normally I don't do this, but I do do have to report. Uh, but when there I was do, some, there was some developing news during the commercial okay. break. Uh, we're going to do a story about drones, and you hear the song. Uh, so Paula was playing that song during the commercial break, and there was some incredibly dorky dancing going on the set. I don't want to name any names, but his initials are Rob Marciano. <laughs> <laughs> Those aren't initials. Those they are actually oh, his yes. name. Thank bad, you for calling bad. me out. And, uh, you know, for once, Dan, you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say that Dan recused himself because I believe you could have trumped him on the door. Yeah, I didn't right? want to pull a hamstring. All right, let's talk about this story, this new extreme sport, and it is airborne. Drone racing offers the double appeal of real world and virtual thrills, and it's catching on like crazy. And Rob has been getting a drone's eye view. What's happening, man? So fun. I went out there yesterday to check this out. You know, last Christmas, 400,000 drones were delivered to would be pilots. Some, you know, just hovering over the living room or chasing the cat. It's just not enough. So they're taking it to the next level. Here's what could become the next Formula One of drone racing. 100 drone pilots convening right here at the Liberty Science Center, New Jersey. The Liberty Cup, the only drone race with New York City in its backdrop. Flying these drones is a mix of like video games, NASCAR, and VR. I designed this course so that it's more like a freewheeling roller coaster ride. How fast can some of these drones get going during this race? The top speeds can be over 100 miles an hour. The key here is to go fast, but don't crash. Oh. Not always the easiest thing to do. What are your main concerns with uh, racing against all these competitors? Um, just trying to keep it in the air and uh, not crash. Do you kind of have a, a call sign? Are you Maverick? Are you Goose? No, nice I'm, I'm just known as Zumas. So. Zumas. Yeah. I mean, that sounds pretty fast to me. Yeah, exactly. You know, you, you don't need a nickname when you got a name like Zumas. Comes naturally. Yeah. <laughs> what's your What's your call sign? So I go with Oh my God, and uh, just <laughs> Oh my God. This looks very complicated to me. It's actually not very complicated at all. And we wear these goggles, and whatever we see on here is basically what the drone sees. So this is really where all the magic happens right here. Can I feel and see what it looks like? Absolutely, as long as you promise not to fall over. <laughs> yeah, I've had that happen before. <laughs> well, if that's happened before, I might actually do that. Whoa! What? Oh my goodness. Dude, you're, you're making me sick to my stomach. Whoa! Oh my God! That's why they call you that. <laughs> I'm almost falling over. Don't fall over. Oh my God, Tommy. That was unbelievable. I think I like this sport. <sighs> yes, oh that is gosh. what you're seeing, and it's not virtual reality. It's really just reality that you're seeing uh, through some goggles. So it's like, you know, flying in an airplane. These guys are are just crazy with what they do. You know, this is all about science, technology, engineering, and math. This is a big STEM thing. These guys were all really kind of, I don't want to say geeky, but pretty smart kids. And a lot of them are gamers that go outside and do this. And, Good, uh, for it's high yeah. speed. Good for them. It's, it's nice really... for those gamers to see sunlight. Yeah, that's true. And they socialize. <laughs> they, get to, they get to socialize as well. We have come a long way from the days of the whirly Give them some that's credit, Thank you, Rob. That's awesome, I, I Rob. Give And we begin with that developing story. For the first time, we're...